Okay, Scorpio, we're up with the bonus reading. I, you know what? I was a, there is another title in my head. They don't know. Just crossed my mind. I was looking at the energy, taking everything in. They don't know. The title that I went with was Affection is the Love Language. The first card that came out is affection. It says, showing affection creates a loving bond. So showing affection creates a loving bond. So affection is the love language that came out because understanding was the other card that came out. It says, happy couples understand each other. Going back to the understanding and the love language, I honestly feel... Probably for you, Scorpio, affection is your love language. But they don't know that. And it's weird. I don't know how long this relationship has been going on. It could be long term, could be, you know, kind of short. But I honestly feel they don't know. That's why I was like, I was looking at all of these cards and picking up the energy. And I'm just like, what is it that I'm missing? Something's not making sense. And as I'm looking at it and, you know, trying to tap into it. I finally do. And I'm like, oh, that's why. And now, you know, like here we are and I'm explaining this to you. So two cards, both intuitively. The chariot, cancer energy, can be a travel card, victory card, determination. I feel you're determined to make this work. The magician, both major arcanas. Magician is Gemini and Virgo energy. Some of you could be dealing with any of these signs. Magician, as you know, as above, so below, but also making things happen. Don't forget the magician was the fool until they gathered everything and then became the magician. So keep that in mind, too. There's dogs outside barking. So please try to ignore that in the background. Now. The interesting thing, another major arcana, I feel this is the current state of things. I don't feel that this is what will be in the future. I feel this is the current state that has the ability to change on how the parties are feeling. The lovers is also Gemini energy. Some of you might be dealing with the Gemini. And that's, and that's one relationship that I've noticed happens a lot. Geminis and Scorpios. Just saying. doesn't have to be, but maybe dealing with a Gemini. So, with this energy in the reverse, it's just saying, okay, there's a hold. Or, someone can't make a choice about something. It can be that too, because this was once the choice card. Now, we have the Three of Cups. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, which is celebration. So something to celebrate about. We have the Page of Wands, New Star, Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Five of Pentacles. This is kind of being left out. I feel with all of these cards connected together, that has to change. Especially with the Page of Wands and the Three of Cups, this is celebration. This energy that you're in, I feel it's going to change. I feel there's a lot of perception going on here because the justice card was reversed, is what I feel. I feel, and if you notice how this one looks and how that one looks, with it being reversed, I feel this is a perception. Some of you could also be dating a Libra, too. But with the Ace of Wands, I also feel someone is trying to make this work. In addition to that, there will be a reigniting of passion. With the Page of Wands and the Ace of Wands, that's a reigniting of passion. And it'll be long-term passion too. This might be action happening right away. Or there may be a message coming in right away. But usually nights are about action. The Knight of Swords is action. And I feel people are taking action once everything is out. Because going back to what I said before, I feel that 
your other half doesn't know. Whoever it is that you may feel like the the affection isn't there. I honestly feel like they don't know that affection is your love language. Or maybe you don't know affection is their love language. Somebody just doesn't know. The, the, the um, I don't want to say discomfort. The issue. That's the issue. The issue just hasn't been addressed yet. You might think that, oh, they know based off of certain cues or hints and stuff. But for some of you, I feel like they honestly don't know with the high priestess. Pisces energy. But again, there's a determination to balance things out. There's a determination to heal with Sagittarius energy temperance. So once all of this levels out, this becomes this. But again, I really feel they don't know. I really feel they don't know affection is the love language for you. But once they do find out, that is when it will be turned on. Now, also, you're going to have to meet them halfway, too, because there's certain things that they will want from you that maybe you haven't been doing. But again, understanding, you both have to understand each other. All right. And that is your message. This is, again, is your bonus reading for um, not really for December, but for love. Until next time, Scorpio, be blessed.